This demonstration is on the Local Settings window. The Local Settings box is used in a Manage Site environment to set variables dependent on the local user's preferences. To get to the Local Setup window from the Work in Progress screen, click on Setup and pull down to Local Setup. The settings here include Font Set, which will allow you to increase or decrease the size of your font depending on what is most comfortable for your eyes. You will have to restart Crosslink for this change to take place. Prior Year Path This is where you have the previous year of Crosslink installed. You can either type in the Prior Year Path or browse for it. If you have not run Crosslink in the previous year, you can leave this field blank. Retrieval Path is the path you would retrieve returns and updates from if you are running Crosslink on a networked computer. You can either type in the Retrieval Path or browse for it. Transfer Path is the path that you would transfer returns out to. You can either type in the Transfer Path or browse to it. The next section is Crosslink Backup. Place the Backup Path in the Backup Path field. You can either type in the Backup Path or browse to it, but this path must exist before you can backup into it. It is also recommended that you backup to a drive other than the one where Crosslink is installed. The last area is Default Printers. If your network has multiple printers on it, you can send the returns to one printer, the checks to a second printer, and your reports to an entirely different printer, if you wish, by choosing the appropriate printer from the drop-down list. If these fields are left blank, Crosslink will use your default printer to print everything. If the box Prompt for Tax Return PDF is checked, Crosslink will ask you if you'd like to see your return as a PDF. And if the printer you are using is one type or another of inkjet, or things just don't seem to be printing right, place a check mark in the box labeled Use GDI Printer Interface. When you are done, you can click the Help menu for more information, or click OK to return to the Work in Progress screen.